Uh, Jose Mourinho is, uh, is back in football management. Uh, yesterday, he was unver- I mean, it was unbelievable. I don't know if you saw this at the Sirkaru Sarakoglu Stadium in Istanbul. I was there. Unbelievable, wasn't yeah, it? Fantastic. I mean, the atmosphere, just because he was going to he's, sign his contract. He's a, he's a, he's, you know, no matter what people want to say here and later on in his career, I even saw the notes from TalkSport about him going, you know, not... I'm like, the guy's been in two European finals even for Roma. Yeah. He's still iconic. Mate, listen, I, you know, undoubtedly, he, he, undoubtedly <coughs> achieved a lot. You know, as someone who, you know, he, he came into my club when it was yeah. not uh, as uh, successful as, sure. it, as it has been over the last 20 years. Um, but he, he was, you know, he's, he's an absolute star. Unbelievable. And he, he, he's he got so much charisma. Anybody who watched any of the coverage from Saturday Night's Champions League final? I love the fact he still wants to work. He's just so, he's so engaging. I know that he has his moments or whatever. Yeah. But he is, he he is could so sit on, engaging. He could sit on TNT or Sky Sports, you know, and earn a few million a year, but he still wants to manage yeah. at 61. I love that about him. Like, you follow him on Instagram, it's quite funny. And, you know, I watched the whole thing in Turkey and him going out there in the jet and, like, the yeah. helicopter. And he'll probably go win a couple of trophies there. Of course he will. Then he'll pee off everybody. <laughs> he'll probably get a sack. He'll come out of there, you know, eventually be the Portugal manager. But I honestly, like, look at some of the jobs available. Like, for example, hear me out. Bayern Munich needed, obviously, a stock gap until they got Alonso. They needed a manager for a year, two years, because obviously they wanted, you know, Alonso. Could, could Jose Mourinho not go in mm. there and win the German league and win the German cup, with all due respect? Like, is he not the type of manager, that, a club the size of, you know, is he, is he that far gone just because of what happened at Spurs or even United? And still at United, he won trophies. Like, what is the issue I think here? I think his, um, his tenure at Manchester United is painted differently now than it was at the time. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as people think. No right? way. Uh, and you see what he did at Roma. And I thought they were quite harsh they, with him. By the way, the they've never won a European trophy before. And he went into back-to-back finals and won one. Yeah. And they should have won the second one. Yeah. And he still had them top six in the third season, still could have qualified for the Champions League, and they got rid of him. Mm. And he, he was doing things again out there that only, you know, Jose could do. People hate when I call him Jose, you call him Jose. Yeah. So, you know, but having lived in Spain for a long time, you know what I mean? I was it's Portuguese. Up. Yeah, I get it. But I, I just think, you know, do you go to Turkey to retire? Like I look I at players I and I look so. at managers I think, and I think, is that, is that me being disrespectful there. to, yeah, a little to bit, Turkey? Yeah, because I think that, Tur- I mean, the, the league's not great. Sure. Uh, but Fenerbahce got 99 points uh, in their league last season and finished second. No, I know. Because Galatasaray finished on, I know. Uh, 102 points. I know. Hardly lost the game. I know, but I look at Mourinho and I go, Turkey? I'm just, you know, there are no bigger, cl- no dis- disrespect to Turkey, but there are no clubs here, but there are no jobs here, but there are no jobs elsewhere. I mean, you know. Maybe they're paying him more, I don't know. Uh, Gary, what about Leicester? Should Leicester have tried to have a go and got him in? Keep him in the Premier League? Um, good, bad or indifferent, how long will we get before Jose plants a flag in the centre circle Sunes mm, style? Soon it's going to get very tasty in Turkey. Yeah. Jose is box office. And that is, is one of the things, I think, and I think we're probably, that's the point of the question really is, what does it say about the persona that he has created, that he is still, after all these years, he's, 20 years on, 25 years on, he's box office. He's iconic, he's special, as he said he was when he first came. You know, he'll always be remembered. Um, I've always been a fan. I I know he gets himself in trouble. He's had bad moments like everyone else and some of the stuff he did in Spain, you know, he was losing his head. But I still think it's too early for him to head off to Turkey. I honestly could have seen him go somewhere else, you know what I mean? Like, you know, PSG wanted to win the Champions League. They've spent years firing managers they can't win the Champions League mm. well, why didn't they go and get him to go and win the Champions League it was rumoured that it was close or that was the next yeah, stop I, I, wasn't it I mean I know he's only won two of them mm. and you say only only no because you look at Ancelotti who's got 20 Five. of them yeah. you know and that kind of thing but you know Pep's got three yeah. so again PSG wanted to win the Champions League Bayern Munich wanted to get relevant again I'm not sure what the problem would be Jose is. Um, he's got to go for a few qualifying rounds for, to get... Um, he's got a long way to go. Uh, the Champions League football for mm. Fenerbahce next year. And he yeah. says there's a lot of players that are not coming back. Euros, etc., etc. So true. it's going to be difficult for him. Um, Brett is a Pompey fan. He says, now we've got American owners. They seem to have steadied the ship for us. How? Yep. H- hope they spend now we're in the Championship. Don't want to be a yo-yo club. What is the situation with FFP in the Championship? And why is it different to Premier League teams? Um, it's different throughout the leagues, but Portsmouth will have a chance to spend plenty to stay in the Champ. They won't be under they won't be under immediate pressure. I think it's a three-year rule on what you can lose and whatever else, and they're already in good financial stead. Because in League One, you can spend 60% of your turnover, like football expenditure-wise. Hence, where sometimes we as a club have an issue, we don't get 20,000 fans paying on a Saturday with mm. 8, 9, 10. 
so we can spend we can't spend as much as other people. But Portsmouth will have no problem building a squad that's efficient enough to stay and build and go further in the championship. Yeah, and uh, John Messina, a very astute coach. Oh yeah, a listen, good guy. I have to guy. say that was a brilliant re- recruitment yeah. of him. No one as a saw manager. that coming. No one saw it coming. He probably got slagged off when he went in there and got the job. Mm. Um, but fabulous. Yeah. Fair play to him. Terrific fella and uh, terrific football yeah. club. Um, ask Dara to look after a- a- Abraham Odo at yep. Peterborough. Uh, been brilliant for us last season. Hope he can kick on in a higher league. Nathan, the uh, window cleaner, the Harrogate Town fan. Fair play, Nathan. And that's one of our recruits we just brought in to replace the boy we sold at Coventry for millions. So hopefully the next little gem. For millions? Yeah, of course, yeah. For millions. So you don't that's know anything about EFL? We, that's what we do. Well, you don't know this, do no, you? I, I do know, but well, I just, okay. it's just the... So who's the player I'm talking about? Interested, I don't know. Exactly. So we bought a player 18 months ago from Barnet for 150 grand. And we sold him for many millions of pounds 18 months later to Coventry. You didn't know that, did you? No. It's well, one of the biggest then. deals in the window in Ma- January. Mason. Is it Mason? Efren Mason Clark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, there is a life outside the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. Malcolm fan here. Um, <laughs> Harry, we appreciate the invite you've given to Jason to come on and talk about uh, Morecambe, but he won't even meet the fans. He cancelled two meetings last week. We're extremely okay. worried for the future of our club. Uh, and someone let Dara know that Portuguese is j, not h, like they say in Spain. Ben, you're welcome, he says. You know, I love being corrected by people in the know out there. There you go. Well done, Ben, you self-righteous little git. So I didn't say that to you when you corrected me. Be nice to our listeners. When did I correct you? Just three seconds ago. Well, I've had to spend three hours correcting you. (laughs) Do you want to to spend three hours with me correcting me tomorrow? Yeah, see if the fans do. (laughs) Right, uh, next, H&J, here on the radio, uh, Shaban and Hot, uh, Shabana Hearn and Perry Groves in for H&J today. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow, 10 to 1. Brilliant. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.